Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 amazing things that your iPhone can do and you probably never knew about. Now iPhones are packed with features, even though a lot of people think that iPhones are simple and they don't offer like a lot of features, there are a ton of hidden tricks and features on your iPhone that are really really useful and you will probably find yourself using them on a daily basis once you find out the capabilities of your iPhone and the things that you can do with your device. Now, another really cool thing you can do right now is smash the like button and subscribe for more videos. If you appreciate the work and of course you want to see this channel do better and grow, make sure you subscribe and of course leave a like on the video. Starting things off with Siri. Now, of course, Siri has a lot of capabilities and it can do a lot of things for you. And of course, now it even works offline with iOS 15, which is really, really great. But Siri also has a ton of different hidden commands that probably a lot of people don't even know about. And one of them is the ability to send screenshots without you having to touch your iPhone at all. So here from the home screen, I can send a screenshot to someone or maybe a screenshot of a note or something like this by simply asking Siri to do that. Of course, I have to turn on Siri here manually because I don't want to use the hey word on the video. So send this screenshot to test M. And just you can see right there, it took a screenshot and of course everything is ready. All you have to do is just say send and it's good to go. You will have the ability to screenshot anything you want and send it to anyone you want with a simple Siri command. Now here is a really, really cool trick that you can do on your iPhone. So let's say I wanna add this medium sized widget to the home screen. So you can see if I add it automatically, it will be placed right there. If I go ahead and try to place it here, it will work. But if I wanna place it right here at the bottom, it won't move the icons at the top there. It will just give me these two options. I can place it here or there. But there is a really cool trick that will let you place the widget right here at the bottom. Now, this is how it works. So let's say on this page, I don't have that many apps. Now I will need to add a few more apps here. So let's just go ahead and add a few more apps. So I will need to add like four more apps here for this trick to work. And you can see how it works. So if I just place the apps here, now it will let me basically go ahead and place the widget right there. But of course, these are apps that I don't need to have here. I just added them in order to place the widget here. Now, what you need to do is just go right to the edit mode and just tap right there and select the apps and just go ahead and swipe like this and move them right to the app library. When you go back, you can see you have the widget right there in place. So it won't move, it will stay there. So now you can have the widget at the bottom here and of course still have free space all right there. This is how it works. This is of course a trick, a hack that you can do in order to place this widget at the bottom. Now Safari on iOS 15 of course has a ton of different new features which most of them are actually really really useful and one of them is right here. It's called iCloud tabs. So you have tabs opened on other devices. You don't need to be close to them to use the handoff feature. You can enable iCloud tabs and here I have them from my other iPhone and of course I can go ahead and open them here which is really really cool and very useful as well. Now to see the on the home screen of your Safari, you will need to tap the edit button and make sure you have enabled iCloud tabs here. Of course, you need to have the same iCloud account on both phones for these to show up, but you will have them right here and it's really, really good. Now, what you can also do is 3D touch on that tab and you can tap to close it right here. This will close it on this device, of course, will close it on the other device as well. So these are iCloud tabs, which you will see on all your devices. So if I go to my other device, I will see the iCloud tabs that I have opened on this device. Now here is a really cool iPhone trick that will let you hide any picture in plain sight. This is basically a workaround that you can use if you want to actually hide a picture but still have it right there so you can have access to that picture anytime you want. The way it works, you go to picture and this is a trick, you go to the edit mode right there and then go ahead and tap on the markup button and once you see the markup interface right here, just tap the plus button and choose this square right there. Make sure you just move it all the way up there 
move it like this so you basically just size it so it fills the whole picture and then tap this button right there tap here and you can see now it's covered you can select any color you want and tap done now once you go here tap done again now you can see i have a bunch of wallpapers here and once i go here it just looks like a random wallpaper that will actually hide that picture in plain sight you need the picture all you gotta do is just tap the edit button tap on revert revert to original and there it goes the picture will show up again on safari on ios 15 when you go to the tabs view and you have a bunch of tabs opened you can now actually copy all of those tabs at once what you can do is tap right here where it says four tabs and then just go ahead and place your finger there hold you can see it shows you all the websites that you have opened you can tap on copy links and all the links will be copied at once and if i go let's say here to the notes app and paste these you can see how they look you will have all the websites there and they look actually really really good and you can go ahead and even open any one of them directly from the notes app it shows them really good in a very nice and clean way right here so you can do this maybe if you want to send links to someone or stuff like that you can copy all of them at once on iOS 15, when you go to the tabs view, you will have now a new look here with a grid view, which looks really good and is more useful than the old one. But did you know that you can actually drag the tabs and select them just like you do with the icons on the home screen of your iOS device? Now from here, I can go ahead and add these to another group of tabs, or I can go ahead and create a new group of tabs and add them right here, or I can drag them to another app. I can release them here on Chrome. So I wanna open those tabs on Chrome, just go ahead and release them here. Or maybe I just wanna drag these and wanna save them into a note. I can go ahead and go to notes, release that, and now I will have both of those saved here. As easy as that, select a bunch of two different tabs at once, and of course, move them around anywhere you need on iOS 15. Now, a lot of people have been excited with the release of iOS 14's home screen widgets, but they don't actually do a lot. They display information there, but there's nothing else you can do with those widgets. But of course, the same thing goes on with iOS 15. Nothing has changed at all. That's until you use Widget. I suggest every iPhone user should have this app on their device. And this is basically the only widget app that you need to have. And you can do a lot more with your widgets. So right there you can see I have a battery widget, which of course you can customize, you can create your own, or even just go ahead and explore ton of different widgets created by the widget community and right there you can see it displays the battery of my device it does it in a really good way you can see how clean that looks but it also does something else i can turn on low power mode on my device simply by tapping on that widget it does redirect you but it does the work you can see it turns on low power mode or i can use a widget to open any app i want so let's just go to the widget app right here and right now here i have this widget that i have enabled on the home screen and it opens it basically turns on low power mode it does that through a shortcut so you have a shortcut you enable it here so let's just edit this and let me show you guys what it does so here we have tap actions when you go to widget you can tap the plus button and you can add a tap action and that action right here will allow you to do a lot of stuff so here i have this one the action here run shortcut you tap right there and you enter the name of the shortcut but what i can do is also use it maybe to open an app if I go ahead and select App Store right there, I can go ahead and confirm. And now that widget will open App Store. So I don't actually need to go to the App Store. I can do that from that widget. Now the smaller widget will support only one action. But if you have bigger widgets, you will have the ability to add more actions on different zones. So let's just go ahead and try one here. So let's say this widget right here if i edit this i can go ahead and add a tap action here so let's just first delete that old one i can tap to add a tap action here and of course go ahead and do anything i want with that tap action so here's the tap action and you can see that side basically that area right there i can make it bigger so the this half i want to perform an action right there it is and i can go ahead and choose the action here maybe open a url or open any app third-party apps right here apple apps so let's just go ahead and choose calendar right there 
and then go back. I want to add another tap action. So let's just go ahead and tap right here. And now let's move it right on the other half, make it bigger, of course. So whenever I tap anywhere on that area, I will be able to perform that action. Go to Apple Apps and let's just choose another app here that we might want to open with this. So let's just choose music and now confirm and we're good to go. Here we have right there, we have the widget. I can go ahead and go to manage and add that widget right here. So let's just find it real quick. So here we have that widget and now I can add it to the home screen. And now that the widget has been added to the home screen, I can use it to perform those actions we just created. So on that half, I can open an app. On the other one, another app. This is a great way to actually use widgets on your iOS device and of course, make them useful. Next up, we're moving to the weather app. On the weather app on iOS 15, you have the list of your cities right here. If you go to one of the cities and go ahead and tap on the map, you can see it shows the information right there on the bubble and that's for a city that you have added to the list of cities on the weather app. I only have New York there, but I can go ahead and right here directly from the map without having to go to the cities list. I can just go ahead and 3D touch on any city. You can see it will show me the information and I can of course tap right there and that will add it to the cities list. And now it even shows the bubble there. If I tap done and go to the list right here, you can see now I have that city here without having to go and add it from the cities list. On the files app on iOS 15, you can now group your files. So if you just tap right there, you can go ahead and tap on use groups and this will enable a whole nother feature on the files app. So you can see now we have different groups. We have folders, we have music and we have archives and others as well. This will separate your files into different groups and make it way, way easier to find the files that you need. Now, if I go ahead and tap right there again, if I go to group by right there, I can go ahead and even group them by date maybe, or even go ahead and group them by size. This way it will be much, much easier for you to find the exact file that you need. On the App Store app on iOS, you can go ahead and search, of course, for anything you want. So let's just search for widgets right here. So if I search for widget, now you can see right there at the top, just under the search bar, you will get different filters. Now here it will show a bunch of different widgets, but I'm only interested in battery widgets. I can tap right there and it will filter my search and only shows like widgets that have basically offer battery information. Now, of course, once I'm done with this, I can tap the X button and remove that filter and go back to the main search. An amazing feature will make you basically using the app store and searching for apps and finding the exact apps that you need way more easier than of course, just searching in general for the name of the app. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully learned something new today. So that's basically it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys on the next one.